Hi and welcome to this short video presentation on how to load any other market other than the currency market into the Tough XP charting software. The first thing we need to do is to go into the Alpari MT4 software and if you look at the symbols list on the, in the top left here you can see we start off with currencies, there's a whole selection here and as we move down things start to change with this different colour here. First of all you can see that we have some underscore uh, US 500 which is the S&P 500. These are not the cash markets with Alpari but longer term trading charts. You will then see the same for some commodities here as well. The underscore CL which is crude oil and then we've got gold there as well. So I'm just going to continue lower and now we see the futures contracts for some of the commodities silver gold sugar and then a bit further down we get a repeat this time for the individual futures contracts for the major stock indices just a tip first if you right click on any particular uh, ticker symbol it doesn't make any difference and make sure that you can see all of these just click on show all any contracts that have expired then will be updated automatically. So in order to create a chart that is not a currency chart is exactly the same procedure to create a currency chart. The only difference is you will choose whether it's going to be an indices commodity or financial. So let's say for example let's move up to the Dow and the Dow in Alpari is going to be US 30.Z. This is the futures contract. Z denotes the month of December and you can see there when I move the mouse pointer over it uh, it highlights as well with a tooltip there. Wall Street 30 December. We can also display the price chart for the longer term one which is the underscore one as well which is uh, here. And again just move uh, the mouse pointer over. Now what you've got to be careful of here you can see there it says trade no. We can display the chart to see the longer term trends but we can't trade it. So in Alpari to trade the Dow 30 we must trade the futures contract. So we'll scroll back down to the indices here where they're not greyed out and we're going to create a chart of the US 30 December futures. So I'm going to highlight it with the left mouse button then I'm going to drag that out to a blank part in the MT4 software here. This brings up the Dow chart for December and we have this bit of a gap here. If you see this, this is what's known as a change in the basis which occurs in uh, futures contracts. I'm not going into the detail in that because uh, it won't be required uh, to understand that but that's what the gap is in the chart. First thing we need to do is to make this a one minute price chart. We now have the one minute price chart and the next thing we need to do is to apply the custom indicator. So go to custom indicators in the navigator at the bottom and we'll scroll down till we find the Tough XP data feed custom indicator. Hold down the left mouse button, drag this onto the price chart. Make sure that you have a check mark for allow DLL imports and also allow external experts imports. So we're going to left click on this. We get the confirmation this has been added and then we're going to left click and say OK. We can double check this by right clicking on the price chart, going to indicator list, left click there, and we can see that this has been applied to the chart. Same code at the top in the indicator window as it is in the price chart. So left click and close. We can minimize MT4 now. And in the Tough XP charts, we can come to file, new chart, and in the drop down box you probably won't find the US 30 because uh, initially you will have to type this in. You can see I've had the September contract in there which is denoted by the suffix there dot u. So we're going to have to type this in so let's uh, fire away US 30 dot z for the December contract and to match the ticker symbol that we created the chart with in the MT4 software. So once we've uh, input the code, we can then choose whether 
we want uh, any of these time frames we'll just go with the five minute default at the moment we'll left click on create here we see the chart loading and there we have the price chart and then you can decide on what it is you want to add as far as indicators whether it's the volume or in the settings you may want to add uh, averages or whatever it is that you want to apply to the price chart once you've created the price chart it would be a good idea to save it so come up to file save workspace you then get the dialog box here and you can uh, choose what it is you, you want to call it. We'll just call it uh, Dow Jones in the bottom here, five min chart. And then click on save. So this workspace is now saved with the indicators on it as well. So really that's how simple it is and you can create as many as you want. If you want to create let's say a gold chart say so you're interested in trading the gold market we've got uh, the G dot V here this is the um, sorry that's not gold GC is gold I should know after 20 odd years so here you can see we've got the GC gold December contract trading at $1300 at the moment and again to create a chart of this we're just going to drag this into a blank space this is important in the MT4 workspace here and we're going to change it to one minute and then we're going to apply I'll just uh, make this a bit bigger, I just wanted to see what uh, the market was doing we're going to apply the Tough XP custom indicator Tough XP data feed hold down the left mouse button drag this onto the price chart make sure allow DL imports is selected and then click OK just an aside here again you can see this is confirmed here so we're going to click OK if you're not getting the checkbox automatically checked for the DLLs, come up to Tools, Options, and then in Expert Advisors, make sure that Allow DLM, DLL Imports is selected. And then we'll click OK. So now we can go to Tough XP Charts and create the gold chart. Just take note of the symbol here the ticker symbol you may want to write it down on a piece of paper GC dot Z3 so back in tough XP charts we can come up to the drop down type in GC and you can see I've had the June contract there which is what the letter M stands for I'm going to change that to Z just capitalize that and then we're going to create the price chart so tough XP is pulling through the data for the gold market and there we can see the gold chart loaded into tough XP charts and updating in real time okay so that's it for creating charts that are not currency charts it's no different you just have to understand uh, what the symbols mean that's all the difference is and again you can save as many as you want create as many as you want within the software as well so that's it any difficulties then uh, rewatch the video uh, simple as that really because uh, it is quite simple to do but if you do have any other questions, do contact a member of the support team. We'll only be too pleased to assist where necessary. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.